What's going on, YouTube? I am God is my source, aka Gems. And you might be thinking to yourself, I probably won't pronounce a G like that in that situation. And my response is, I'm a grown man, I do what I want. And we back with some more Christian hip hop. Today, we're going to be listening to Level 316, The Return. Now, the last time we listened to a Level 316 song, uh, what was it? Was it Invasion? I don't even remember which song I did last time, but uh, we got a suggestion from a subscriber about uh, a song that they like, which is The Return, which I, it's, the song sounds familiar, the title, so I'm pretty sure I've heard it before. I mean, I've heard a lot of their music, so I probably have heard this before, but I'm not sure because I haven't heard it in such a long time. So once the, I'm sure once the beat starts or maybe the first verse, I'll, I'll start to recognize some things, but uh it's definitely an older group, um, a group that I, I liked a lot back when I first discovered Christian hip hop. So let's get into this, man. Um, hope you guys enjoy too. Lane 750 night train headed through the city streets, rolling like the Glens game. Life's good, better yet. Life's great, my life, live it up. High life, hit the club, night life, sip your cups. This is the year you've been waiting for. New Year's resolution, same pledge year before. Some things never change. Open heart relationships, broken by the sequel lust. What now? Who to trust? Oh well, sex sells, get rich and die trying. Stop lying to yourself. Life is short, hop aboard, take a trip. This is it, make the change with the script Christ is coming back, y'all All up in your backyard Left the right, you decide Christ out for you and I T-Y's what we need Faith like a mustard seed Put your trust in Jesus He's the one who leads us Down this narrow path to heaven Let him set you free Since you've been through Since you've been through life Since you got to I'm sorry, I'm just loving it so much because it's like that nostalgia uh, for all the older people who might be listening, who might be watching this. Like when you hear something from back, like and either in your, like your childhood or maybe something for me, this isn't my, it's not my childhood, but it's when I first discovered Christian hip hop. Like this is, uh, I miss this stuff. This was the golden era for me because I feel like, I feel like I discovered Christian hip hop during the best era of it. I, I once saw this poll on Twitter. I think it might have been Rapzilla that posted it, but I can't remember. Uh, they posted what was the best era. And I feel like the years they did kind of didn't match correctly because they kind of took, they kind of ended one era in like 06 and then started the next era in like 2015, which was weird because that area in between there from like 06 to maybe... 20, 20, maybe 2015-ish. That era right in there, I feel like that's the best era because the stuff from the early 2000s I thought was pretty whack. Um, there, were some, there were some good people in there, but for the most part, I thought they were pretty whack. And definitely the old stuff, I didn't even know Christian Hip Hop went back to like the 80s. Had no idea, but the, the, the poll suggested that that happened, that, that there was Christian Hip Hop back in the 80s. And the and definitely in the nineties, so it, that surprised me. But um, I thought the early two thousand stuff was pretty whack. But then that mid two thousands, that's when you know Lecrae is coming out one one six, and then branching out further to when you get to like Bizzle and and everything else in between there. I feel like that, I, I feel like I discovered it in the I discovered it in like two thousand ten. Probably be a safe time to say I discovered Christian hip hop. So I feel like I discovered it right in the middle of the best era. But that's my opinion. Let's get back into it. I love this song, by the way. I have heard it before, but I don't remember. I remember some lines, some words. I love this song. I'm going to just take it back. I, I, I do. I, I kind of remember it. I love this one. Mm. Like 
So I'm fast lane, 750 night train Headed through the city streets, rolling like a dice game Life's good, better yet, life's great My life, live it up, high life Hit the club, night life, sip your cups This is the year you've been waiting for New Year's resolution, same pledge year before Some things never change, open heart relationships Broken by the sea for us, what now, who to trust? Oh well, sex sells, get rich or die trying Stop lying to yourself, life is short, hop aboard Take a trip, this is it Make a change with the script Crisis coming back, y'all All up in your back, y'all Left the right, you decide Christ out for you and I T-Wise, what we need Faith like a mustard seed Put your trust in Jesus He's the one who leads us Down this narrow path to heaven Let him set you free Since you live your life Since you gotta choose It's the I mean, yes, these these lyrics aren't like spectacular or anything. You know, they're just good solid lyrics. But this is what I miss. This is why this is the golden era right here. The main thing. At this time, at least the the artists that I knew about, the, there was scripture all in it, uh biblical references all in it, and Jesus' name was all in it. Sometimes now, nowadays, I feel like that is getting lost in kind of like in the just the art of rapping. Um, yes, lyrics have improved. I would say generally overall, lyrics have lyricism has improved, and that's even debatable. That's debatable actually. I'm not gonna say that, but I I think the average skill level has improved, but the focus is slightly shifting not to an extent that because as i mean at the end of the day it's still about jesus and a lot of i, I would say most artists recognize that but songs during this area and, and likely previous to it the the area of this song it was all throughout the song jesus biblical reference scripture whether quoting it or just saying what the scripture is it was all through the songs i don't see that too much these days and that this is what made me fall in love with this music because i knew that i could always listen to this it was never gonna be like make me feel lukewarm or anything like that like this was legit that's what i loved about this era man that's, I don't, I think this song's got quite a bit more to go. So we'll Hey, 
Dragging the food, you hear a sound, you look around, everybody gone. But you walked out the classroom, outside, mouth wide open, this is it, this is it, wondering if it's real, then Jesus appears. Your heart is puffing with fear, your light flashes before you. The end of the world is... That's the end, man. I, I just got hyped when that part came. I remember how the song ended. It was like, yeah, because this song's about the rapture and making, like, making sure you ready. Because you don't want to miss it. Oh, my gosh. I love this song. I forgot about this song, man. Oh, man. When I remember that part, when I, because I knew he was about to wrap it up, like, yo, what if you was just doing this? You know, you just laid up with your girl. And next thing you know, you know, everybody gone. And you just sit up in school acting crazy. Everybody disappeared but you, and you just walking out like, what happened? That's how it's going to be for some people. Make sure you ain't one of them people. You do not want to be here. You do not want to be here. But uh, that's it for this one, man. Let me know what y'all thought about this one in the comments section. Hit the like button if you so choose. Subscribe. Drop a content every day. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. All right, guys. Be blessed.